y'all. Welcome back to our channel. I am Tracy, by the way. I am so sorry. I have not been introducing my name, uh, just the channel. I am so sorry. My name is Tracy, by the way. Um, uh, welcome to our channel. I am the keeper of the farm. I did it again. Blooper number one. Here we go. Take two. Let's see if we can do this right. <laughs> no, we can't because I can't do it with a straight face. Give me a minute. <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome back to our channel. I am the keeper of the home here at 40 Farms. And by the way, my name is Tracy. I have had a lot of questions. What is your name? And I'm sorry if I have never inter properly introduced myself. I am so sorry. My name is Tracy, by the way. I am the keeper of the home here at 4D Farms. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Those of you that have subscribed, thank you so much. Y'all have blew me out of the water again and um, helped my channel out so much. Um, thank y'all for coming back and checking out this video. Tonight, it is stormy outside. If y'all hear anything, it's going to be some thunder outside because it's been doing this all day long. And it's cold, and this is March. So, <laughs> welcome to that tricky time of the season where you don't know if it's winter or spring still, okay? So, tonight is the perfect night. I'm going to be making broccoli and cheddar cheese soup in the Instant Pot, and I am starving to death. So, um, yeah, I'm, I get hungry a lot. Okay, so y'all get your aprons, y'all get throw your towels over your shoulders, whatever you do when you go into your kitchen, and I will get started, okay? <laughs> All right, first I'm going to show y'all my ingredients. Here's my Instant Pot. Here in just a little bit, I'm going to be making some little garlic knots in my um, air fryer, and right here, I've got, uh, you can use heavy cream or you can use milk, whatever you want to do. I've just got milk on hand. Uh, some chicken broth. I've got black pepper, pink Himalayan salt, some garlic powder because I was supposed to have had some gar some uh, minced garlic or some garlic cloves and I don't have any. So I'm just going to substitute and just use some garlic powder. I like to kick it up a notch and use a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. I got butter. I got my onions already chopped up so I don't bore y'all with y'all seeing that. Um, I've got my broccoli uh, diced. I've got my carrots diced and I've got my cheese so what I'm gonna do is first of all I guess I gotta turn my uh, instant pot on in my air fryer and we're gonna start letting them get hot we're gonna put it on the saute mode okay it's gonna get warmed up I'm going to go ahead and drop my butter in here I'm not gonna hold this camera while I try to cook I'm fixing to set it down in just a second um all right let's get my butter down in there all right there we go I'm gonna have to have my two hands here because I gotta get my onions off this mat. So, let me turn y'all around just a second. All right, I'm gonna let my butter uh, heat up and I'm gonna find my little uh, spatula here because what you gotta do next is you have got to um, saute your onions. So we're gonna heat up our butter I hope y'all can see that. I'm going to saute the, I'm going to get the butter heated up. Ah. Okay, then I'm going to take my onions here. Let me move all my stuff off of my um, board so I can just dump my onions in there. There we go. I love these little flexible cutting mats so you can just bend it like that and pour it in there. All right, so it's already started sauteing. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna let those saute for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of the salt in there so it can be get flavoring those. I'll pick that up in a minute. I like pink Himalayan salt. And then we're gonna get us a little pepper in here. Okay, I'm done with those. 
since I'm not doing garlic cloves, um, because your onions need to cook just a little bit more than your garlic, but since I don't have any right now and I'm not cooking them right now, I am going to go ahead and put in my garlic powder, okay? I really wish I had some fresh garlic or minced garlic already, but I don't, so I'm going to put in this. There we go. That's my seasoning. I'm going to let this saute for a little bit. Just to kind of soften them just a little. I mean, I know the Instant Pot is going to cook them a little bit more, but I still like that buttery caramelization on these onions first. So, I am going to let these saute just for a little bit, just for maybe like two more minutes, and I'll bring you right back, okay? All right, y'all. Those have sauteed, and they got that, ooh, yeah, they have sauteed. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and add my broccoli and my carrots. And the reason why I'm going to do that first is because I'm going to eyeball how much liquid I need. Y'all, I don't have a recipe for this. I'm doing this strictly by mm, remembering and downsizing. So I've had to, you know, eyeball everything. All right, now we're going to add our chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth. You can use, uh, I wouldn't put beef broth in here. Yes, you, know, you can't do that. Okay. You want it enough to cover your um, vegetables. Okay. So, oh, y'all, I forgot the Old Bay. Let's get that Old Bay in here. All right. We got that. Let's give it a stir. I needed to see how much liquid I needed before I went any further. All right, that's good. I wanted to cover my vegetables. Now what we're gonna do is, y'all, this is so simple. What we're gonna do now is, I gotta find my lid. We're gonna put our lid on. Ever fight with these things? I gotta go in the wrong way. My pressure cooker goes the other way, and I'm used to it, so now I gotta go this way. Put it to ceiling. Now we're gonna switch it. We're gonna cancel, and then we're going to go to pressure cook on high. It's already on high. I'm going to down. I'm gonna do four minutes. It all depends on how. Um, how done you want your broccoli and your carrots. I like a little firmness, but yet not too crunchy. So I'm gonna pressure cook this on high for four minutes. So when this is done, I'm going to naturally release the pressure and then take the lid off and then I'll bring you back and let you see what we do next, okay? This is the simplest recipe that you can start out with. If you're scared of Instant Pots of pressure cookers and you just wanna get started, start out small, y'all, and work your way up. So when this gets done cooking, I'm going to let the steam out and then I'm gonna take it out and then I'll let you see what we do next. So we'll be right back, okay? While that is pressure cooking, I'm gonna show y'all what we're gonna do right here. I've got some garlic knots in here. Let me show you. Just two little garlic knots. That's enough for me and my husband, okay? Um, so I'm gonna put these in the air fryer. I'm gonna put it on 400, but I'm gonna go down in my time, change it, and y'all, it only takes like two or three minutes for these little garlic knots to get done at this temperature. So I'm gonna hit start. Now, the halfway point is going to beep at me, and it's going to tell me to shake it. You know, that's just to keep anything from sticking or to rotate, you know, everything. So, halfway point, I'm going to shake them, and then it's going to finish cooking, and I'll let you see what those look like. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt y'all's pause and while that's cooking, but uh, if y'all are wondering why I'm on this little table here, I'll tell you why. Um, we are in the process of having a major kitchen renovation done. I'm talking, y'all, we 
gutted our kitchen, okay? It was time to. We gutted our kitchen. So, I'm getting a whole new kitchen, y'all. Um, so, we are in a hotel room, and while they're doing this, because our appliances and our kitchen table and everything is in our living room in our house. So, you can't get in our living room, and we can't get in the kitchen right now. We'll be in their way. So, we have camped out in here in a, um, in a hotel, and... Um, my husband bought me a, an instant pot and an air fryer to go in here because I had already packed ours up. And I was like, you know, we may not have a lot of room, so, you know, I better go small instead of lugging my big, uh, I don't know how, how big my pressure cooker is at home. Um, 20 quarts, I think. Yeah, I, because I cook for, you know, I've cooked for a big family for so long, you know, now I don't know how to go small, okay? So he bought me a smaller Instant Pot and a smaller air fryer so I could get the hang of downsizing, okay? Anyway, long story short, we're doing a major kitchen renovation. So don't get confused when you see some videos in an older kitchen and then before some videos in our new kitchen So or vice versa. So don't, don't get confused because... um some videos that I'm fixing to start posting are from last year and I've been or from a couple of years ago that was when I was doing videos but I wasn't for sure if I wanted to make a YouTube channel or not so I held on to those videos for two years so I will start posting some editing some of those videos and posting those videos and then you know probably the next time, it, it might be, you'll see two different kitchens, okay? And, but they're going to be two different time periods, so I don't want it to confuse you. So, the next few, be, few yeah, there's a blooper. The next few videos that I'm going to be doing is some Instant Pot meals. Um, you know, just to, to tie it over until I can get some of those other videos. Because a lot of the videos that I have coming up... Are go I'm going to be posting those um, during the gardening season for all of my gardening viewers. Um, and, and I'm going to try to keep it in a timeline, okay? And then harvesting and canning. So I've got like, y'all, probably 20 videos. 10, 15, 20 videos coming, y'all, that I've just got to do some work on before I can post them, um, because I, it was just me and the camera, y'all, and, and I need to cut out some things, and so I'm going to squeeze in some different videos, you know, so y'all are not sitting here waiting, okay? I've got to keep everybody interested and cover different, you know, subscribers' interests, so, I'm going to do some, some cooking here in the hotel, and um, I'm going to do um, get some videos going in a timeline for garden planting, because it's fixing to be time to start planting your gardens. A lot of people have already started because of their climates and different areas of the, the, the country. So, um, yeah, I got a lot of videos. Come, oh, y'all, look at my sewing machines over there. I told my husband, I said, look, if we're going to be staying in a hotel room, I got to have something to do or I will go absolutely nuts. Okay. I'll go nuts. I go crazy. I, I got to be moving. I, but when I get tired, I got to sit down too. Okay. So I, I got to have my cake and eat it too. So, um, yeah, I brought some things to do. I'm getting some sewing done. I've made my granddaughter some things. So, uh, yeah. I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm getting to do things. Housekeeping here. We know them. And um, they know that I like to clean my own room. And they never have to worry about cleaning our room because I do it myself because it gives me something to do. I still like to do my homemaking no matter where I'm at. Now, if I was on vacation, vacation, it would be different. I'd be putting my feet up. You know, hey, let's go out to eat. You know, whatever. But it, you can't go out to eat every single night, every meal, if you stay in a hotel room. I'd be as 
big as one side of the house, okay? I can't do that. So, I'm, y'all remember my meal planning videos? Mm, yeah, I'm having to do that here because we have a little bitty refrigerator, okay? And no, hardly not a lot of space to put things. I may do a hotel video, hotel hack video. I may do that and just show y'all how our hotel room is set up, what I like to do. I'm going to clean it first. <gasps> our thing is done. All right, I'm fixing to release the pressure on it. I may do a hotel hack video, y'all, and let y'all see like give y'all some ideas next time y'all want to travel or you go stay somewhere on vacation or something i might do that for y'all so consider this your first hotel hack video okay disclaimer i have permission from the manager of the hotel to cook in this hotel with under some some rules okay um i'll cannot leave the room and leave anything cooking. Like uh, if you take a crock pot, do not leave your room and have an appliance running, okay? That is one thing, you know, and you better check with your hotel management, okay? Because some will allow it, some will not, okay? I know some places where they don't want to let you bring it in. <laughs> you either go out to eat or you use that microwave in there and get you some microwave meals or something. Some of them are adamant about their rules and will not let you bring anything in. So they knew that since we're an extended stay, um, and you know, we're gonna be coming and going, checking on our house and stuff, um, and our kitchen, you know, being there for when they need something or if there's a problem, um, they're like, you know, I'll let you do it as long as you do not leave anything on and leave the room. I don't do that, okay? So I respect their rules and I don't, y'all, I don't even do that in my own house. I don't run a crock pot and go off somewhere. It just terrifies me, okay? So, um, this is going to be your first hotel hack. So, that just gave me a video idea. I'll do that one day. I'll pack in ideas, y'all. I got some ideas for packing, too. I'll show you that. But this is your first hotel hack, learning how to know what you can pack ask management how you can cook in a hotel um our first meal in a hotel hack video um instant pot and um yeah i might do that in the next couple of days i might do a little hotel hack and just give y'all some ideas so consider this your first one all right so i'm going to set y'all back up here and i'm going to release this pressure and i'll be right back okay Hey, y'all, the pressure's still coming out, still venting. I want to show y'all something. Look at these garlic knots, how they turned out. Look at that. Ooh, I was hot. Y'all, I don't know why I do that. Y'all, I know it's hot, but I do it anyway. Sorry, I have accidents all the time. I burn myself all the time in the kitchen. Okay, so I'm going to leave them in there. We're going to take our lid off. Do not ever open your, try to open your lid and all that steam and that pressure has not been released. All right, I'm gonna find a place to set this. Okay, oh y'all, I got 6% left on my phone battery. We gotta do this quick. All right, we're gonna give this a stir. Now, we are going to add our milk or uh, if you wanna use half and half or if you wanna use cream, you can do that. We're going to add our milk. I need to see how much I need. All right, and then we're going to add our cheese. Y'all, this goes into a keep warm mode after you vent it and it cuts off from cooking. It goes into a keep warm mode. So, or if you want to cancel it and then hit saute, it'll be a higher temperature to still keep cooking but not in the uh, not in the keep um, not in the keep uh, warm mode. It'll be just a little warmer. So we're gonna add our cheese. My hands are clean, y'all. It's just me and my husband. Ain't nobody going, you know, to be rushed to the hospital in this video, y'all. I have clean hands. I like a lot of cheese, y'all. That's why they call this broccoli and cheddar cheese soup. All right, I'm gonna stir that in. Whoa, y'all see this is hot. I touched it again, y'all. My husband gets tickled at me all the time. He's like, you knew that was hot. Why did you do that? <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to 
gonna let this melt. I think I want it more cheesy, so here we go. I love cheese, y'all. And this, it depends on how thick you want your broccoli and cheese soup. Y'all can do, if you want it a little bit thicker, y'all can do a cornstarch flurry. Yes, a cornstarch flurry is what they call it. Y'all can do that. I need this to give me a little bit more, so I'm going to hit the saute. So I canceled the keep warm. I'm going to put it on saute because I need it to cook just a little higher temperature to melt this cheese. Okay, now, what was I saying? Um, it depends on how soupy you want it. You can... Um, if you want it a little thicker, you can do a cornstarch slurry. Um, you Is it flurry or slurry? I don't know, y'all. A thickener, okay, to make your soup thicker. You just do like a tablespoon of cornstarch and maybe like two tablespoons of water or three tablespoons of water. I can't remember the ratio. But you do your little cornstarch slurry. You pour it in here and you just let it get a little thicker. I like it thick. I like it soupy. I like it... Um, Another thing, too, at this stage right here, um, some people will take, like, let this cool off a little bit and put it in the blender and puree it up and make it just totally creamy. Um, but I like it either way. I can either take an immersion blender or put it in the blender and get some more of the chunks out and make it more soupy, creamier. I like it both ways. I like it like this. And I like it creamy. I like to taste a little crunch. And then again, I like it a little soupy, you know. It, it all depends on your taste preference, like I say. Okay, y'all just remember, y'all do y'all in your kitchen to your taste preferences. Yeah, I think it would, I can eat it like this, but I think it would probably be better with a cornstarch slurry in it if you want it a little bit thicker. So, I'm, that's what it looks like. I am going to plate mine up and get me a, throw me a garlic knot on there, and then I'll show you. Here we go, y'all. I added a little bit more cheddar cheese on top. Of course, it's a little hot right now, so the cheese is melting, but that's okay. That's just more cheese because I love cheese. My little garlic knots. So I'm fixing to taste this, and let's see what it tastes like. All right, we're fixing to taste this, y'all. This is the first time I've ever done that in the Instant Pot, so we're fixing to try it, okay? Oh, y'all, that cheese. Let's see what this tastes like. I'm probably y'all. I'm probably gonna burn my tongue because I'm just just the way I am. Y'all, I told y'all my videos. Y'all gonna get some raw footage sometimes, bloopers and all. Look at that cheese, y'all. <laughs> I love cheese. Okay, let's see what this tastes like. Let me don't let me burn my tongue. Okay, all right. Let's let some of the cheese get done dripping, or I'm gonna have it down my chin, and y'all will see that. So here we go. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, y'all, that's good. That turned out good. I love this. If you want it a little thicker, put you some corn, put you a cornstarch slurry in it. If you like it creamy like this, you ain't got to do that. Mm. Better than milk, you might can try um, whipping cream. Yeah, whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream, or just half and half. Little bit, um, little bit thicker than milk. Okay, there goes that thunder again. Little bit thicker than milk. Okay, but this is good even with the milk in it because that's all I had on hand, and I didn't think to go and buy some cornstarch before I made this in the instant pot. But that's okay because, like I said, I can eat it creamy, I can eat it thicker, whatever. Uh, restaurants, everybody does it different. Everybody cooks their broccoli and cheddar cheese soup different. But y'all, this is, oh, I gotta try this thing. Huh? Mm. What did I tell y'all about slap your mama good? But don't slap your mama. Mmm. Good. Good. Get that butter off. <laughs> That's good, y'all. Okay. Y'all, uh, uh, y'all. I'm me, raw. What you see is what you get on this channel. 
I included the bloopers on this at the beginning of this video because y'all <laughs> look, I'm starting to laugh again. I gotta stop, okay? <laughs> okay. Mm. Can't even talk with a straight face. Anyway, just something to give y'all a little kick, okay? Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I am just, I'm a little tad bit crazy. Um, you know, not mentally crazy, but you know, like funny crazy. Um, my, my husband and my boys have gotten a kick out of me all their lives. I had my older son tell my husband one time, Dad, do something with your wife. <laughs> How dare him? I'm like, son, you just as crazy as me, so what are you talking about? Anyway, I'm going to chow down on this soup before it gets cold, and then I have to wind up putting it in the microwave. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I will try to do some more cooking. That I've got to figure out the Instant Pot and this new air fryer, um, make some tweaks and stuff. I'm going to try some and, um, you know, make sure things turn out right. So far, things have turned out right. It took me a while to figure out how to do the boiled eggs and how to do egg bites because um, I make us just something simple for breakfast. I'll make us some egg bites in the um, Instant Pot. Um, I might show them next time I make some egg bites. I'll show you how I do mine, okay? Um, that, that, that might be coming up soon. But I'll try to do some more uh, recipes in the Instant Pot and the Air Fryer. Um, I, I might I might squeeze in a, a hotel hack video. Y'all, let me tell you something. <clears throat> Just between us. When you go to a hotel, please study up on hotel etiquette first before you go stay in a hotel. Okay? There should be quiet hours. There needs to be quiet hours. Some hotels probably do have quiet hours. Some people follow the rules. Some people don't. The first couple of nights here, y'all, I didn't get a bit of sleep. I didn't get a bit of sleep. Know where your kids are at 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning because they might be running up and down the hallways, playing in the stairwells, uh, playing on the elevators. Know where your children are at 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning, okay? <laughs> hotel etiquette. Study up on it before you go to a hotel, okay? I'm going to enjoy this soup, y'all. I hope y'all like this video. This one was just off the wall today. That's just the kind of mood I'm in today. Uh, it's kind of off the wall, but I hope it helped, and I hope you like this video anyway. Y'all, thank y'all for putting up with me and hanging out with me. There's going to be some days like this, y'all. I'm warning you, okay? So, um, um, uh, y'all just enjoy your soup. I hope you made some with me, or I hope you wrote directions down. You can rewind and follow along with the video. I've been watching YouTube videos because um, I didn't want to pack all my recipe books and stuff, you know, and haul them around. So, I've been watching YouTube videos, getting saving recipes on the internet and saving some into my file if you get to my playlist you'll pull up some recipes and stuff air fryer recipes instant pot recipes because i like to cook along with the videos okay and i can pause it when i want to and keep up with them so i hope you i hope you like doing that and you can go back and make them and my other video my cannon biscuits my homemade cinnamon rolls i hope you can do that go back and follow along with it and just pause it when you need to because that's what i've been doing y'all i'm learning a lot from other channels so i'm um, i'm not copycatting other channels i'm just trying to do the same thing you know and throw out throw out some help out there but y'all thank y'all for hanging out with me my soup's getting cold so i'm fixing to enjoy it so y'all have a good night god bless